I can't believe this coffee has more shade range than most makeup companies <laughs> foundation. Yes, so true. It's funny because it's true. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different, a little bit fun. I did get inspired to do a video like this from Dr. Mike, so I will leave his channel in the description box. He actually reacted to the funniest medical memes and it had me cracking up the entire time. So I knew I had to recreate it for makeup memes. I'm sure there's a whole bunch that are just like, the best ever. And also in Dr. Mike's video, he talked about how PewDiePie was the original guy that made reacting to memes so popular. So I actually asked some of my friends to send me some of the funniest makeup memes and then I will just react to them live on camera. If you don't support me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> this one is super good. I don't think I've ever had my beauty blender look like that. That looks maybe like there's mold on it. When most guys just wash their face with hand soap and have flawless skin, meanwhile you're doing the 10 step Korean skincare routine and your face still won't respect you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, you guys know my struggle with cystic acne lately. This totally speaks to me because it's like every freaking topical treatment I've done and they just come back and you're like, skin, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> When you buy a new foundation and it matches you perfectly, but when you get home and realize it oxidized. <laughs> okay, seriously, this happens. I feel like I always seem to try new foundations. I'm about to go somewhere and I'm meeting new people or I'm seeing my friends and they're like, you review makeup? Like, <laughs> I promise you it just oxidized. It looked perfect when I put it on. Sephora salesperson. Hello, beautiful. I have the perfect highlighter for your skin tone. It'll really make your cheekbones pop. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this creature is beyond saving. Although, isn't he from the old Rudolph the Red-Nosed Ranger movie? Is he like the abominable snow monster? Friend, let's go out. Me, I already took off my makeup. Friend, so? Me. <laughs> oh, he looks so funny. <laughs> also, when the bra comes off, I am not coming out. When you see a pic of your eyebrows from three years ago, how about for me from just this past year, yikes. I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things when I was younger, but I was somehow allowed to get to the tweezers and pluck the crap out of my brows. Like, what was I thinking? There is a special place in hell for a woman who does not tell another woman that she has lipstick on her teeth. <laughs> Yes, or if you have mascara flaking all over your face, or if you have mascara on your eyeshadow, like all of the above, please let me know. Me walking through Sephora with no makeup on, trying to avoid every rude worker that treats me like I don't know my tea on these products. Okay, yes, when I wanna get in with no makeup, I have one mission and that's to get the product I want. That moment when you pull up to your local Sephora. <laughs> This is so good. I feel like I feel like this every time I go like anywhere. So when I was in Vegas and there was so many Sephora's, I was just like, we have to stop. <laughs> Get in loser, we're going shopping. I do my squats at Sephora. Yes, oh my goodness. I also pull open the drawers when you're not supposed to, grab my stuff, get out, especially those days where I'm not wearing makeup, they don't wanna come help me and I wanna get my stuff done. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Me. Oh, absolutely. This could very well be the funeral of your favorite product. I like my eyelashes as black as my soul and as long as the list of people I hate. Holy Dinah, that is cold. I don't necessarily think I agree with this. I don't know how many people I hate necessarily. Sephora be like, thank you for spending $5,000. Here's a cotton ball. <laughs> the point perks are so bad sometimes. You literally save your points for years and you can finally afford the sample size of the Guerlain primer. <laughs> Ask for samples, do not waste your points on some of these things. Me when I'm 89 years old. Oh yes, it's true. I'm gonna be that hot grandma. Dude, it's just weird. Started at the bottom, now we here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even breathe. So drugstore versus what looks like high-end stuff. Lip smackers, <laughs> oh my gosh. I collected them, you guys, that was the best. The beauty industry. For men, this can be used as shampoo, body wash, face wash, lotion, mouthwash, toothpaste, engine degreaser, spackle, or sunscreen. For women, we've specifically formulated this moisturizer for your left elbow. <laughs> Eye creams versus moisturizers. Is it just overpriced moisturizer for your eyes? I often wonder that. My face, when I see people apply tester lipsticks directly to their lips. 
Oh, so true. Has anyone ever seen this before? How many germs are on that stick though? A lot. You said you were on a no buy this month, but your Sephora VIB account determined that was a lie. <laughs> When you're at Sephora and your husband says, do you really need that? Do I really need you, Joe? <laughs> oh my goodness. Luckily my husband has never said that, but oh wow. Hey girl, I washed all your makeup brushes and lashes while you were sleeping. Hope that's okay. Yeah, that is real love right there. When you go to Ulta for mascara and all of a sudden you black out and wake up to a cashier telling you your total is $284.71. <laughs> Is this not life? Of course this is. That's why the Sephora people give you a basket. It's like the trickiest thing ever. <gasps> you never accept it unless you're gonna go all in. Do you ever see your face from a different angle and have a mental breakdown? <laughs> yes, it's when I open up my iPhone and my camera happens to be facing directly upward and I look like a potato. Me doing my makeup. So we've got the me looking at the neutral palette as per usual and my color palettes getting all jealous. My color palettes definitely take a back seat, but isn't that life? Like which girl doesn't do that? Right eyebrow, does yoga every day, got into Yale, vacations in Bora Bora, left eyebrow, couch potato, <laughs> procrastinator, listens to Nickelback. <laughs> no. Do you have one bad eyebrow and one good eyebrow? Because it's just the worst ever. And you try to make the good eyebrow almost suckier to match the bad eyebrow because the bad eyebrow can't possibly look as good as the good one. Yeah, it's like a math problem. Family, you spend too much money on makeup. Why do you have so much makeup? Why do you have so many brushes? Family, can you help me with my makeup? Now when you want my collection to help you, it's all of a sudden okay. Interesting. Me, I already have five lipsticks in this shade. Me to me, but this one has different undertones. <laughs> I say that I'll stop buying nudes and then I don't. So definitely the dark side is influencing me there. I can tell you're wearing makeup. Good, it was expensive. <laughs> yes. I think we're gonna be friends. Anyways guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you got some laughs or some smiles out of this. This was super, super fun to make. Don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button if you loved this style of video, as well as don't forget to subscribe. I would love to see you back here. And until my next one guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.